And you have a whole chapter on how being a quitter can make you a winner. Talk about that. Yeah, I mean, so often there's all the sayings like, you know, never be a quitter, never give up and all that kind of stuff. And this chapter was actually triggered by one of my NYU students who came to me and she said, my father has so ingrained in me never quit, finish what you start. And she said, it does, It actually does, works against me. She's like, for example, I started reading a book, 10 pages in, I realized it wasn't the book I thought it was, but I felt like I had to finish it because I had my father sitting on my shoulder saying, if you start something, finish it. So what I said is sometimes quitting or giving up on something or cutting your losses is the best, best decision you can make. So if you reframe quitting from, I'm a quitter to, you know what, I'm going to stop doing this. Marshall Goldsmith, in fact, quotes Peter Drucker as saying, we spend a lot of time teaching executives or business people what to do, but we don't teach them what to stop doing. So this is a similar kind of theme of, you know, it's okay to stop. If something is not productive, it's, if you go in the wrong direction to where you were intending, you wouldn't just keep going, right? You would turn around and get back on the right path or make a different choice or take a different road. So that's the philosophy behind, you know, quitting is okay if you quit for the right reasons. Now, it doesn't mean quit on for someone who's relying on you. It doesn't mean just walk out of a relationship, whether it's a business or whatever. So I don't want it to be misconstrued, but that's the idea is um, quitting is okay if you do it with integrity and for the right reasons and you're not hurting anyone, including yourself. 